first of all, back then, education was more important. You know, it was a necessity. It was really stressed. And JCM was considered the mecca of all high schools, not only here in Jackson, Madison County, but throughout West Tennessee. Uh, every kid, there were three junior highs that fed into JCM. And uh, at each one of those junior highs, man, we were all just working hard to become a cougar. You know, back then it was kind of like, JCM was kind of like American Idol. You know, coming from the junior highs, you were just trying to make the band. You know, and then once you get there, it's kind of like uh, you're trying to get signed, you know, meaning graduating, you know. And uh, uh, everything, all the auxiliaries were fierce competitors. Uh, Jason was very well respected, very well respected. And uh, we had this motto back then, it's bigger than putting on a uniform, you know, not just the band, I mean any auxiliary. Uh, we worked very hard. and had a lot of talented students. And, uh, but my, my fondest memory, being a musician, was just being in the mighty powerhouse JCM band. Uh, one of the most exciting times for me was the first day of band camp. Because I heard all my friends talking about, oh, the band, the band, the band. So, man, when I got there and saw all these people I'd never seen before, and I saw all these new technological instruments in this technological band room, like wow man I finally got here and uh, I just I loved every minute of high school you know, back then teachers were allowed to be teachers they weren't told how to teach they were creative and innovative and artistic and they took time to be mothers and fathers away from home counselors you know whatever you needed uh, teachers principals everybody was on top of things and I hate to say it, people know I call it real like it is. Uh, I will say, <laughs> what, can te what can tear things down is everyone that's in a position of authority is not a leader. You have some yes men, you have some people with their own personal agenda, and I mean men or women. But uh, everybody is not a leader. A leader is one, he or she, that comes in and has everyone's best interest uh, and strives to help everyone come up to the next level and constantly prosper. And as a matter of fact, if you happen to surpass that leader, that leader is happy for you. Uh, this school system does not have that now. Uh, you have a lot of people striving to get to the swivel chairs, and make the big check and make the decisions but it's not about the kids anymore. Everything is so professional, sounding professional, looking professional, and uh, it's amounting to zeros. Back when I was in school, especially at JCM, we had teachers, man. Now, a lot of us can sit up and reminisce. You remember Mr. Such and Such, Miss Such, oh, we loved him, we loved him. Kids are not able to do that now. And it's not necessarily just because of the teachers, because you have some great teachers, but it's simply because of the morale and the system. It's, that's basically the problem. Everybody's trying to talk about at the head. You know, what can we do to enhance the morale and get this thing back where it used to be? You're not going to do it the way you're doing it now. It's not going to, this thing is through it. Until you decide to go back to the basics, the very foundations that this thing was built off of, when everybody could come together and was on the same playing field, until you do that, it's going to continuously go down. And, and what I saw uh, was a mask they were using rezoning as a mask for that school to deteriorate. Because it's a school of history. It's a school of legacy. Two schools at that time came together to form one. And that's it became a mighty powerhouse, well-respected.